you have not heard the news, the news is is that threat actors from you know the midnight blizzard have infiltrated Microsoft's uh, corporate M365 tenant and exfiltrated executive team emails. That is. Uh, the news item, right? But the more question, a more pressing question, of course, is like, okay, how, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think, Paul, maybe it starts, uh, you know, maybe our, our conversation about this starts by answering that question, right? Like, what is the brief overview of the attack chain for this? And um, of all the articles I've read through on this, basically, the attack chain in a summarized form comes down to this. So there was a, and this kills me, this, this is like corporate <laughs> double speak legalese here. I, uh, it just grinds my gears, but there was a, a legacy non-production test tenant <laughs> hanging around that, uh, Surprise did not have MFA enabled on it, and mm -hmm. the threat actors were able to uh, essentially brute force the tenant using password spray attacks, right? Um, if you're not familiar with the password spray attack, it's just, hey, I'm going to try a couple of common passwords against this account and this account and against this account. And the whole idea is you're only trying a few at a time, so you're not rising up. Uh, on somebody's radar in terms of account lockouts and things like that. So this is done over a period of time. Anyway, they were able to essentially brute force the tenant using this. Once they were in this, again, non-production legacy test tenant, uh, they uh, then saw that there was an existing OAuth application out there that they then exploited to get the permissions needed to create additional OAuth applications, which they then used uh, cross-tenant capabilities to use those OAuth apps to gain access into Microsoft's corporate M365 tenants, gave that uh, one of those malicious OAuth apps the uh, full access as app role um, which we're going to get more into the details here in a few minutes. Um, but that role essentially gives the app mailbox access, which they then mm -hmm. use to siphon out all of the uh, mail from the Microsoft executive team. Again, that's you know broad strokes, but that's, that's basically what the mm -hmm. attack chain looked like here, right? So 